Hello. Hello. So uh, I will introduce uh, a project uh, I did initially for myself called uh, Use and Modify, which is a web website, web service. Um, you can visit it now on uh, usemodify.com. It's online si since a few minutes. So it's, <laughs> it's quite buggy and it's better. So, but it's full, full of work in progress. I am working hard on it. Uh, I skipped to the dev uh, version because uh, it's more up to date. Uh, less minutes up to, up to date. So um, this is a website li uh, that, that can list fonts, basically. This is a tool I created for me and uh, it, it didn't exist yet. I was not able to find something online <laughs> to classify my, the font I use and the font I love. Um, so this is really, really um, uh, easy to, to use, uh, to try something, some fonts, and uh, as you can see, um, I have a basic list of, of fonts. Um, yeah, this is my choice. This is my choice of type, typeface. I, I, uh, I am kind of curating my, uh, the typeface I, I select on this website. Uh, there is a professional, amateur, and uh, and uh, the, yeah, a lot of amateur font because I personally use as a graphic designer a lot of amateur style uh, fonts. Uh, I think um, quality is a it is a big deal in uh, typographic design. I mean, there is not there is not just one uh, designer. There is many 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 uh, profile, and so quality is not uh, never the same from a designer to another. To another, I'm not really interested in beautiful shapes. I'm really interested in <coughs> the history of fonts, the quality of uh, the license first. Uh, the, the, the history and the technical uh, ability of of, uh, of a character. So all those fonts are under lib uh, license. You can use and modify them. That's that's why uh, the website is is called Use and Modify. <laughs> And the tool itself is open source. I mean, use and modify is a service you can you can fork. Um, I think the real quali quality of a font is once the font is used. Actually, we can't say, "Oh, I don't like this shape," or "It is not really interesting to to use that because it's so so punk and not really." Yeah, this one. I, I really love this one because this project is really interesting. Just want to go to this project page because it's so each font has a project page you can go in on. This guy is writing a, an alphabet for English English speaking. I don't know. I don't get it exactly, but. <laughs> I really love the, the shape of the of the of the yeah. It draw like a several several fonts and I asked him actually to to make a license because it it was like I don't give a shit what you can do do what you what the fuck you want with my font and I said please apply your license so he chose Apache and as you can see yeah I will just. As you can see, there is some keywords here, and I can browse uh, from from keywords. It's basic basic uh, classification, but it's mine, and it's not Font Squirrel one. It's it's not Google Font one. It's just mine, and I, I think it's important to have um, microfoundry or 
personal classifications for, for this kind of tool. So this is a um, this is this website use and modify can be used by everybody of course because uh, everybody can can find the, the links to, to to download sources and binaries um, the, there is a search tool here to, to find uh, some um, some some keywords um, there is a lot of uh, entries like uh, tags, uh, author, and license, and m much more like uh, parentship, not yet, but uh, similarities between fonts. And uh, I plan to to make uh, to add a field like uh, font in use with a picture or some pictures, like a slideshow, because for me it's really important to 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 to, to find what kind of document I can. I can find around this font. It's, it's part of a uh, history. So, um, but the first, the first, first of all, for me, it's really important to find a font by license. I can show you quickly the administration because this tool is uh, based on CMS, which is open source. So yeah, let's go to. This one, you already know. <laughs> this is the name of the font, the URL I can find it, more info about. Some related fonts, not yet. The author of the font, the keywords. <coughs> the license, and I can make, and the font archive. That's the way I, I input font. Uh, I just use font squirrel to to generate a font uh, the web, web font archive and I just drop the, the zip and everything is automated then so that's quite handy for a non technical user the tool actually works and uh, but it can work much better because I, I want it to, to be plugged in uh, with a, a, a PHP font lib, which which can just go and um, and and search directly in font file for font info, like a, um, I don't know number of glyphs or um, metrics and autofill this way the the database, a part of, the, of a database at least. So, yeah, you can you can use this uh, this website, uh, and uh, you can download it and uh, put it on your server. Just uh, leave the CSS like that or change it. I don't care. So you can see some features quickly. And uh, yeah, thanks for your attention. So any questions about this project? Or is it time for lunch? Yes. Thanks. So, so I, just one thing I didn't really understand. It's it's like, um, do people also make accounts on the site you make, or is it more like a WordPress where you go and and download it, you install it at your place? There is no there is no account. If you want to make your your own, uh, you can make your own website like that. Yeah. And if you want to add uh, uh, your font in my website. Because you like my website, you just open an issue and I, revi I review the font. And if it's cool, it's yeah, it's go it goes on in the list. Okay, that's clear. Thanks. So thank you very much, Rafael.